What is up guys? We are back with another video and today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be showing you how to turn on your PC by just pressing a simple button on your smartphone. So let's go ahead and take a look. The product that's making this all possible is Silverstone's ES03 Wi-Fi. And a few years ago, we actually took a look at their ES02 USB. And the big difference between the two is that the ES02 USB came with like a little fob, like a little remote. So you had to be within distance to turn your PC on or off. The ES03 brings Wi-Fi into it. So basically you can be anywhere in your house, you can be down the street, you can be in another country and you can basically basically turn your PC on or off. As far as what's in the box, all you're really gonna get is the cables uh, right here. You can see the cables that you're gonna connect to the device um, and to your motherboard. And then we get the device itself. Now it's kind of interesting that there is no instructions included with this. Um, on the back, they do provide a QR code for the instructions, but a device like this, I think, should have its own instructions. Also, nowhere on the box does it tell you the name or have a QR code for the app that you have to download for your phone. Um, so it's kind of a little disappointing because you kind of just want to know that right off the bat. If we take a look here at the actual device itself, it's an incredibly small and simple device. So basically what we have here is a PCB that's connected to an internal USB 2.0 connection. So you connect that to your motherboard. And then on the PCB itself, we have the PC switching component as well as the Wi-Fi component there. And then just the connection for the included cables. Now you'll notice that the one little side part there, if we can get it to focus, there we go. Uh, the one little side part there did come off or did rip off when I was removing the cables to shoot this. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Luckily, we didn't bend any of our pins. To get the ES03 Wi-Fi installed, it's pretty easy, but it can be a little bit tedious um, if you've never done something like this before. So here are the cables that came with the ES03 Wi-Fi, and I've already connected them to the headers on my motherboard. So that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do. And you're gonna wanna do this with your system completely turned off and e either unplug from power or just the switch on your power supply turned off so you have no power at all. So everything is connected to our motherboard, uh, all the cables and everything like that. And the next thing you wanna do is connect those cables to the ESO3 Wi-Fi. So simply there is just a small little connection on there. Should have it, there we go. So you plug the cable in right there. Once you have the cables connected to the ES03 Wi-Fi, next what you do is you plug it into an open USB 2.0 header on your motherboard. Now that is generally gonna be located at the bottom of your motherboard, um, kind of like what we have right here. So let's go ahead and just plug that in. Make sure it's all the way down in there. And then you wanna turn on your system. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach back here and turn the power onto our system. Now you don't need to turn on your computer, you just turn on power to the system. And what you'll see is you'll see that little LED on the ES03 Wi-Fi kind of blink. So what we need to do is you need to download the app, um, the EWE Link app, and sadly this app you have to create a profile or you have to register it. But once you register it, you'll go ahead and open the app. Um, it looks something like this. And what you wanna do is click on add device. Now, when you're at this point, when you go to add device on the ES03 Wi-Fi, there is this very, very tiny button that you need to press in. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's hard to press. There we go. And when we press it in, it's blinking like that. And that means that the device is in pairing mode. Now what we want, we want to do is press it again to turn it into compatibility mode. So let's go ahead and press it one more time and hold it in. All right, so now it's blinking even faster and now we're in compatibility mode. So when we're in our add device screen 
on the uh, app itself. We go all the way to the bottom and you'll see where it says compatible mode. Click on that and just follow the prompts and we'll select, uh, that is our Wi-Fi. We'll put in our Wi-Fi password real quick. And then it's gonna ask you to connect your phone to the device's access point. So we'll hit connect and we'll go to the Wi-Fi and see if we find it. And it's right there. Uh, the IT, go ahead and collect that. And we're connected. So we go back over to the app and we'll hit next. And it said it's gonna ask us to join our Wi-Fi. We hit join. And it says the device has been added successfully. So we've gone ahead and added it in um, to our devices on the app. And you probably wanna rename it. You don't want it to be device 9004. So we'll go ahead and name it PC Remote. Let's go ahead and do that. PC Remote. So we've named it PC Remote and you can add it to a room or whatever in your app, but let's just go ahead and we click on done. So it's all done and it has all these channels. Um, you don't have to worry about that or anything, but we, if we click into PC Remote and there's different channels, but the only one that you wanna worry about is channel one. And on channel one, you just hit power. And as you can see, our system's gonna go ahead and boot up. So it is that easy to do. Um, the setup is not all that hard. That button right here on the side though, that's the hardest thing to really get. Um, you, you like have to use your fingernail to press it. But beyond that, the setup is very easy. Once you have the ES03 up and running, it's really easy to do things within the app. Just like any smart home app, you can go ahead and set timers. You can set different scenes. You can also connect it to your smart home devices. So I can do something like turn off PC remote. and we go ahead and it turns off as you can see. So really cool that you can add it to your smart home devices. So if you had a scene, you could walk in your room and just tell your smart home device to turn you know, that entire scene on. That could be your computer, that can be everything else, or it could just be your computer. So you could just go again, turn on PC remote, and there you go. So the app adds a lot of different things that you can do with this device. So what do I think of the ES03 Wi-Fi? Well, I think it definitely builds upon what we saw from the ES02. The ES02 was limited to the remote, so you could only use the remote to turn your system on or off, and you had to be within probably like 30 feet. Here, you can be anywhere and turn your system on or off, and I think that's the best thing. While it's really cool to use voice commands to turn your PC on and you know turn it off from another room, the biggest thing is when you're not there. So say, I'm gonna go on vacation and I'm gonna be gone for a week and I get to the airport and I'm like, oh crap, I left my computer on, I don't want it sitting there on for a week. Um, I can just go in the app and of course just turn it right off, which is really good. Um, you know, and it just, it's just a simple device like that. Now it's selling for just over $40 on Amazon, which I don't think is all that bad. And I'll go ahead and put that link in the description of the video. Now, if you have any questions about this product, definitely go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.